Hi everyone, welcome back for another video lesson. Okay, and today we're going to go into more details about trigonometry and how to use it to help us find angle measures and also uh, the sides of a right triangle. Okay, so let's quickly um, review this. I made a video and I said that your calculator has to be in degree mode. So don't forget that, okay? So when you use your phone calculator, check that it is in degree mode so that you don't get the incorrect answer or doesn't give you the incorrect information, okay? So this is lesson 10-3, trigonometry. And I'm going to ask you to pause the video and just copy this, okay? And once you're done, uh, you can press play and continue watching the video lesson. Okay, so in this example, um, I'm just asking you to write the trigonometric ratios and don't forget uh, those trig functions are sine, cosine, and tangent. Okay, so this, in this triangle, we're looking at this triangle from this angle. So based on this, uh, label this side as the opposite, uh, this one will be the adjacent, and this is opposite to the right angle, so this is the hypotenuse. Okay. So let's say, uh, let's review what the trig ratios are. So for example, sine, sine is always opposite over the hypotenuse. So OPP over HYP. Cosine, cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. So adjacent over hypotenuse. And last, tangent is, uh, this one is opposite over adjacent. And I'm going to give you a way to remember this, okay? Uh, we call this uh, Sokatoa. Uh, so that's the sign. The cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse and the tangent, uh, this one is opposite over adjacent. So if you just uh, kind of memorize this, okay, so if you have the opposite in the hypotenuse, that means you use sine. If you have the adjacent in the hypotenuse, that means you use cosine. And what happens if you have the opposite and the adjacent sides, uh, then you use the tangent. So to go to the next section, go ahead and pause this video, okay, and copy that next part down for now. Okay, so I'm going to add some values here. So let's say this side is 15, this hypotenuse is 17, and uh, this leg is 8 units long. And notice that we're saying sine of t, so that means this will be our angle of reference. Okay, so we're looking at this triangle from this angle. So based on this, uh, by looking at our table here, Okay, sine t, that means uh, in relation to this angle, uh, this will be the opposite. Okay, this is the adjacent, and this is the hypotenuse. So then let's do the sine of angle t. So sine is opposite over hypotenuse. Opposite is 15. Hypotenuse is 17. Okay, so this is the ratio. Uh, using sine of t. Okay, now let's do the cosine. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. So adjacent to the angle is going to be 8 and uh, hypotenuse is 17, so 8 over 17. Next, uh, the tangent. Tangent is opposite over adjacent, so opposite is 15 and adjacent is 8. So these are going to be the ratios of each one of those trig functions. Now next, go ahead and pause the video and copy this next part down. Okay, and then I'll explain. Uh, and once you're, you've written that down, just press play so you can continue watching the video lesson. Okay, this uh, angle measure, let's say, let's say this angle has a measure of 22 degrees, okay? So let's start with this problem. So as you can see, we're looking at this triangle from this angle. So this will be our angle reference. And based on that, we label the sides. So this side is across from the angle. So this one is the opposite. 
and this side is across from the right angle so that means this is the hypotenuse so this is where you think okay which trig function do I use I have opposite and I have hypotenuse so then you go back and look at your uh, table here okay your uh, I guess way to remember this uh, V streak functions so O and H so that means we are going to use sine so then I'm going to write that down sine is opposite over hypotenuse so then sine in this case sine of the angle which is 41 degrees is going to equal opposite is X hypotenuse is 11 okay so now I'm going to create I'm going to, I'm going to make a proportion out of this okay I'm going to write a 1 and then I, I don't know if you guys remember how to solve proportions all you have to do is you cross multiply okay so then uh, when I multiply this I'm going to have 11 times sine of 41 equals x now, when you enter this in your calculator as 11 times the sine of the angle, which has a measure of 41 degrees, is going to give you approximately uh, 7.2. And that will be the value of x. Okay. Now, the next example, again, do the same thing on this one. This is our angle of reference. Okay, so that means we're looking at this triangle from this angle. So based on this, this side is across from the angle, so that makes it the opposite. And this one is next to the angle, which means that's the adjacent. So now look back at this, way to remember, and we have O and A, which means we are going to use tangent. So I'm going to write that down. So tangent equals opposite over adjacent. Okay, so tangent of 22 degrees is going to be equal to its opposite over adjacent so that's going to be 15 over x okay and again just like on the previous problem I'm gonna write a 1 so I can solve this as a proportion and then I'm going to cross multiply so this would give me x times the tangent of 22 and that equals 1 times 15 okay there's a uh, something else See, this one is going to take us one more step uh, this here tangent of 22 is just a number okay since we're trying to solve for x and this is saying multiply x times tangent times tangent of 22 we do the opposite so we divide by tangent of 22 and we got to do it to both sides of the equation so then x equals uh, 15 divided by tangent of 22 degrees and when you enter this in your calculator it's going to give you approximately uh, 37.1 okay so this will be the value of X so notice once you're given the right triangle right away see the angle you're given and then look at the sides so based on the angle reference label the sides once you label the sides then go back and look to see which one which one of the three three functions you are able to use okay go ahead and pause the video for now and I'm gonna go to the next part which is this so pause it and copy this down for now this is the last part of this video lesson okay so this is the same lesson 10-3 continued but now notice that we are going to go into inverse trig functions okay and what they help you do is they help you find uh, the measures of the angles in a right triangle so this one here is the inverse of sine this one is the inverse of cosine and this one is the inverse of tangent okay and don't forget this is a way to remember which trig function to use so for example uh, on this one here this is the angle of reference so I'm looking at this triangle from this angle okay I don't know the measure of the angle but I know this side is right next to the angle so that tells me that this is the adjacent side or I can just write an A okay so I can use this uh, to help me remember this one is opposite to the right angle so this will be the hypotenuse 
or I can just uh, use H. So based on what I have, I see that I have A and H. A and H tells me that I need to use cosine. Okay, so the ratio is going to be cosine of angle X equals cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. The adjacent is 6, the hypotenuse is 13. So uh, to solve this problem, I don't know if you guys remember what the inverse functions do to each other. Okay, so if I want to find the inverse function of this, which I said is going to be cosine inverse, so I'm going to write that down, cosine inverse of cosine of x is equal to, what I, if I do it to this side, I have to do it, do it to the other side. So cosine inverse of 6 divided by 13. Okay, so what these are going to do is they're going to cancel each other out, and that just leaves me with x equals cosine inverse of 6 over 13. Now when I enter this on my calculator, and I'm going to make a short video on how to do this on your phone also, okay, so don't worry if you don't get this for now. Uh, so for now I'm just going to tell you that the angle measure of, I mean this angle measure, or angle x, is a pro, it's a equal, let's say, to 63 degrees, okay, so, so that's going to be the measure of angle x. And by the same reasoning, we can do this one here. Okay, so again, this is my angle of reference. So I'm looking at this triangle from this angle. Based on this, I know this is going to be my opposite, and this is going to be my adjacent because it's next to the angle. So I have O and A, which means I use tangent. So then I'm going to have tangent of angle X equals opposite is 4, and adjacent is 3. And again, just like I did here, I'm going to take the inverse, okay, the inverse of, uh, I'm sorry, not, not, I don't know why I wrote cosine, I guess I love cosine so much, but it should be tangent, so let me just correct that real quick. Okay, so this is going to be tangent, inverse of tangent of angle x equals the inverse uh, tangent inverse of four thirds. Okay, so as we know, these two are going to cancel, so that gives us the x by itself. And then when you enter this in your calculator, that is going to give you 53 degrees. Okay, so this is how you find the inverse functions to help you uh, find the measure of angles. All right, uh, see you guys in the next lesson.